Thank you for watching this Dawson Tools instructional video on the DCM 730 and 731 digital clamp meters. Let's take a look at the features that are shared across both meters. To measure voltage, turn the rotary switch to the voltage position. Press the function button to switch between AC and DC voltage. Insert the test leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The display will show the measured voltage. For current measurement, turn the rotary switch to the appropriate current position. The correct position will depend on the expected current to be measured. The DCM730 can only measure AC current, while the 731 can measure both AC and DC current. Press the function button to switch between AC and DC current on the 731. Press the trigger to open the clamp and insert the conductor to be measured into the clamp. Only measure one conductor at a time. Close the clamp and keep the conductor in the middle of the clamp. The measured current will be displayed. To measure resistance, turn the rotary switch to the resistance position. On the DCM730, resistance has its own position whereas on the 731, resistance mode is a part of the multifunction position. Press the function button on the 731 to switch to resistance. Once in resistance mode, insert the leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The measured resistance will be displayed. For diode measurement, turn the rotary switch to the multifunction position. On the DCM730, Diode mode is the default mode. On the 731, press the function button to switch to diode mode. Insert the test leads into the input and comm jacks. Connect the red lead to the anode and the black lead to the cathode of the diode under test and the meter will show the forward bias voltage drop. For continuity, turn the rotary switch to the multifunction position. On the DCM730, Press the function button to switch to continuity mode. On the 731, continuity is the default mode. Insert the leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. If the measured resistance is less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. To measure capacitance, turn the rotary switch to the capacitance position. On the DCM730, capacitance has its own position. On the 731, turn the rotary switch to the multifunction position and press the function button to switch to capacitance mode. Once in capacitance mode, insert the leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The display will show the measured capacitance. To measure frequency and duty cycle, turn the rotary switch to the hertz position. The default mode is frequency. To switch back and forth between frequency and duty cycle modes, press the Hertz button. Once the correct mode is selected, insert the leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The measured frequency or duty cycle will be displayed. Alternatively, in either AC current or voltage modes, press the Hertz button to switch to frequency display. Press the button again to switch to duty cycle display. Press the button a third time to return to current or voltage measurement. In any mode, hold the NCV button to activate the non-contact voltage detection. Move the tip of the meter toward the voltage source under test. If voltage is present, the NCV indicator will flash and the buzzer will beep. To hold the current reading on the display, Press the hold backlight button and the reading will remain displayed on the screen. Press the button again to release the hold. To turn on the backlight to take measurements in dark environments, hold the hold backlight button and the backlight will turn on. The backlight will stay on for 15 seconds before turning off automatically. If the meter is in current mode, Turning on the backlight will also turn on the clamp's work light, making it easier to take current measurements in dark environments. To turn off the backlight manually, hold the hold backlight button again. 
The default range in most modes is auto range. To switch to manual range, press the range button. Each press of the range button increases the range displayed and returns to the lowest range when pressed in the highest range. To return to auto range, hold the range button. Now let's look at the features that are unique to each meter. The DCM730 can display the maximum and minimum values recorded during measurement. To display the maximum value recorded, press the max min button. The display only shows the maximum value recorded since pressing the button. Press the max min button again to show the minimum value since pressing the button. If you keep pressing the max min button, the display will alternate between the maximum and minimum values. Holding the button will return the display to normal. The DCM731 has a Type K temperature feature. To measure temperature, turn the rotary switch to the temperature position. The default mode is Fahrenheit. To switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius, press the function button. Insert the positive end of the thermocouple into the input jack and the negative end into the comm jack. Touch the tip of the thermocouple to the test object. The measured temperature will be displayed. The DCM731 also has a microamp current feature. To use the microamp function, move the rotary switch to the microamp position. To switch between AC and DC current, press the function button. Insert the leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads in series to the circuit under test. The measured current will be displayed. The DCM731 can display a relative measurement. To do so, press the relative button. The meter will store the measurement when pressing the button and display any subsequent measurement compared to the stored value. To return the display to normal, press the relative button again. Thank you for watching this video on the DCM730 and 731. For more information on this or any of our other products, please visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.